<clears throat> Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today Joel and I are installing the ground system for the new farm. Uh, we've, we've put in six, um, these six foot galvanized rods and we've got an 18 joule charger. And for every joule, they're saying uh, you need a foot of ground per joule. So we only need 18 feet, but we're putting in uh, 60. <laughs> Um, six of them, is that right? 30. No, 30. Or something like that. Six times six. We got 36 feet. Yeah, yeah we got 36 feet of these ground rods. We got these from Powerflex. And they got the really nice ground rod clamps. Um, those are not going to bust off. And so what we've done is we put it in line right underneath our fence. So there's no way you're going to catch it with your foot um you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have any mowing equipment underneath your high tensile fence and we left it sticking up out of the ground about four inches folks don't bury this don't bury that in the ground because what you'll get is rust over time you'll get rust at that interface right there and once you get oxidation and rust you don't have a ground anymore so you just basically you're, you're gonna have trouble with your grounding system so we placed these, uh, I'll go back to the last one here. This is the very last. Okay, so what Joel did is he bent the wire into a V and took his pliers and pushed it together like that. So there's actually a double wire going down that sleeve. Uh, half inch bolt on the side, we got that tightened up with our socket. And so this wire, we're not going to cut it. It's going to be in series all the way back up to that big post up there. That's where our solar charger is going to hang on that two and a half inch galvanized. It's not galvanized. It's two and a half inch metal post. It's where the, uh, the box is going to hang along with our 120 watts of uh, solar chargers. Solar, solar panels, I'm sorry. So there's one, two, Joe, have you already tightened that one? Nope. So you want to pull that out and just show them what you did? So this wire isn't thick enough to fill that little gap on the end and make it snug. Right. So what we ended up doing is just doubling it up on itself, kind of yep. like that. And so that way we don't have to use any crimps or anything and can just run it all as one. And then it's thick enough so we can just tighten it down like that. You're ready to do the number. Other way. Yep. Now you're going. So it's pretty critical to make sure that there's no rust. Keep it out of the ground. That's and real tight. That's real tight. And I'm telling you what, Joel beat and beat and beat to get those in the ground. Well, they're five foot eight inches because there's about four inches sticking out. They're six foot long. Joel, why don't you go to the next one? Let's do it from scratch. So we're going to go on up to our next one. So there's one rod. You kind of stay low because the wind is just blowing like crazy out there. But we've got these big old cedars here acting as a nice windbreak. Okay. So now you've got your distance. Yep. And you're going to loosen your clamp. And then I've got slack on this side, so I want this to turn down right there, so I'll make a bend in that. There you go. And then we make that turn back on itself about there. Because all you need is enough to go behind that clamp. Right. Yep. And then back on itself about there. Yep. Now that you've made that bend, there you go. Now you're pushing them together. Folks, this is all 12 gauge, high tensile, 170,000 PSI high tensile electric galvanized wire. And now that should just slide right down in that. And that's thick enough it'll grab and be tight. Yep. There you go. Folks, if you don't have a good grounding system for your electric charger, your whole electric fence, uh, you're gonna have troubles. I mean, that sucker's in there, Joel. That's not. I don't think that's going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. Awesome. 
All right, let's go to the next one. We got two more to do. Because what we did, folks, is we took one of these and we put it on the far end of the farm. So we got one ground rod almost a mile from here, and the other five are going to be right here by the charger. Okay. Get your distance. And then he measures with his pliers right there at that V, and he's going to bend it straight down, like so. And then he's going to bring it straight back up, like so. And then he puts his bend in to go to the next one, pushes them together. Here we go, voila. In the hole and you're ready to tighten it up. Yeah, so this, this grounding system, folks, it's in a really good spot. Nothing's gonna hit it. Animals aren't gonna mess with it. And it's, it's inconspicuous. Okay, let's go to the next one. You got one more. You see, this is all in series. It's all one piece coming off this spinning jenny. This is the last little bit of wire we pulled. And uh, we got her all enclosed last night. The farm's done. Yeah. Farm's done. Uh, Joel and Ike and uh, Isaac and I uh, got it all tied together. All the uh, electric ground hot, ground hot all the way around this farm. And uh, you all are in for a treat. Uh, we're going to power it up here in just a minute. And we're going to see. Now what we're going to power it up with is a wimpy little charger that I've bought. We had it over on the Ram farm. So it was doing about 35 acres. And we're going to see what that little charger can do on a 141 acre farm with three hots and two grounds. So we're going to see how good a job we did. <laughs> We got power or not okay this is our last one now the big charger uh the 18 jewel it, it's a beast it's a speed right we got it from power flex fence and uh you want to bring that little one over here this little one is really good for uh, small small farms. If you're not, you know, asking it to do too much, um, it's an SG1000 made by Patriot. Patriot SG1000. I'm trying to think what that. Here we go. Uh, Seven AH Data Mars. I don't see the jewels on it. I can look it up. It's an SG-1000. I was thinking it's like a one jewel, something like that. SG-1000, I'm guessing it's, it's a one jewel. Anyway, uh, Joel, go ahead and hook your hot up. There's the ground to the that. Yep. And the second wire, the is second hot. wire down is hot. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, now go get the tester before we turn it on. We're going to put the tester on here. We're going to see how many volts these steers and bowls of ours. We got 84 bowls and steers coming into this paddock here in a couple of days. All right, let's see. What, so this is your speed right. I got a tester like this for our new 18 Jewel that has the on off switch so I can reach out here and touch it anywhere on the farm and I can hit on or I can hit off and it turns the power whichever way you want. And then the middle one is for te testing voltage. Okay, you ready? Here we go. It's hot. Now see, he turned it on, see it's flashing? A good bright green flash is a really good sign. Folks, we've got miles of wire out here and we don't know, we went underneath how many gates? A bunch. Yeah, a bunch. A <laughs> bunch of gates, hot and cold. And it's all tied together all the way around the farm here is the uh, time of truth. What do we got? 
Oh my gosh, look at that. 4,000, uh, 5,000, 5, between 4,800 and 5,000 volts. This little bitty charger is powering up a 141 acre farm. Check the ground here. What do we got on the ground? Okay, on the ground, that's normal, about 1.3. Yeah, you're touching I can't it. Feel and you can't feel anything. Man, Are you sure? It's just a hair of a pulse. But I, I am not touching that, Joel. You're tougher than I am. Look at I, that. Look, I, I'm well grounded. I know. Look at that. It's not too bad. That's amazing. I not too feel, bad. I what do you feel mean? A, a little. Tickling. Oh gosh, no, not me. It knocked me the next week. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't. I've, I've been shocked too many times. Um, but yeah, so he's got the the green the greens on the ground, right here, on the ground rods. And then he's got the red on the hot, a nice bright green flash. That's a little charger. I, I'm thinking it may be one jewel. That's impressive. So when we get the 18 jewel, uh, we're probably going to be up there around eight or nine thousand volts. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we want to touch it? <laughs> I'm not going to try it then. <laughs> well, I was just touching the ground wires. So. Yeah. Let's go ahead and turn it off a minute. I'm going to show people what we're going to do next. So you can go ahead and unplug those and get move that back so we don't get it in the way. So our next step, now that we've got the grounds in, would you want to grab a piece of that? Uh, grab the crimps, the crimper, and the insulated wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. You know what? We can mount a switch on that wood pole. Yeah, that would be nicer than fiberglass. Yeah, so what we're going to do is come, the charger, folks, is going to be mounted right up here on that pole. We might, we might mount it on that cross beam there. Eh, I don't know. We'll mount it on one of the two, but what we're going to do is going up into the charger, we don't want to run a smooth piece of high tensile wire up on a metal box. And so we're going to cut it off. You can cut it off probably. Yeah, give yourself a break right here, right there. And now that's all. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is a spinning Jenny, folks. You could go ahead and wrap that up there. Man. That way, none of us will get hit in the face with it. Folks, high tensile wire is dangerous when you cut it. There, he, he fixed that. So, on this, we're going to use a buried cable, the buried wire right there beside you. Go ahead and slough off a piece of that. So he's going to show you how to crimp on a piece of buried with the uh, hot, with the, the the uncoated wire. There you go. Now you need steel crimps. He's going to get the steel crimps, and then this the other end of this piece of wire is actually. Um, gonna go up into the charger you know what this is gonna work great because you accidentally grabbed a great piece of wire there this is gonna be our, our uh okay that's going to the ground i'm getting ahead of myself yeah go ahead and cut that off yeah crimp that on so this is our ground and then we're gonna do another video later on when we get our our solar panels we haven't got them in yet we've ordered them and when they come we're going to do a video on hooking up a solar charger, 18 joule charger. Okay. And folks, you need to, um, when you have a solar charger or any charger, don't hang it close to the road. If you do, you're just tempting people to come out at night and you go out the next morning and your charger's gone. Your solar panels are gone. A matter of fact, we had a really good friend lose a whole trailer load of solar panels. He had him powering up a, uh, a pump in a pond. And it's that solar panel, you can see them from the highway, for about three or four years, I kept saying, you know, somebody's going to steal them. And sure enough, about two or three years later, I went by that place and somebody went down there in the middle of the night and unhooked it from that pump and took the whole booming thing. So he was out. So don't don't leave stuff viewing especially from blacktops and highways even a gravel road just don't don't put it out there to tempt people to steal stuff i'll leave it at that i'm not even going to tell you what farm we're on right here we're on the edge but you can't see it from the road 
and it's hidden for a reason. So I'm going to go ahead and end right there. Uh, thank you, Joel, for your time helping me with this. And folks, hit that subscribe button the way out, and we'll see you all next time.